Trump is reportedly furious about a new book that paints his first year in office in an unflattering light. The book was compiled using more than 200 interviews with people who are in the on the inside, and it's set to be released next week. But not if the president gets his way. Mola Lenghi has the details. President Trump is trying to shut down a new book that has details about his first year in office. The president's lawyers sent a cease and desist letter to the publishers of Fire and Fury inside the Trump White House. The letter demands the publishers not release the book and that the author release a full and complete retraction along with an apology. Among the book's revelations is a quote from former White House strategist Steve Bannon, who called a June 2016 meeting Donald Trump Jr. arranged with a Russian lawyer as treasonous and unpatriotic. President Trump personally responded to Bannon's claims, saying, Steve Bannon has nothing to do with me or my presidency. When he was fired, he not only lost his job, he lost his mind. Any words about Steve Bannon? I don't know. He called me a great man last night. So, you know, he obviously changed his tune pretty quick. The book's author released even more excerpts today, including news that President Trump encouraged allies to engage in partisan attacks against Robert Mueller, who's leading the investigation into collusion with Russia. Starting today, the White House says all staffers and guests will no longer be able to use any personal devices in the West Wing. Well, this is sort of closing the barn door after the horse is over the, over the hill. I mean, this book is out. The White House says the rules are for security purposes. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. And White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says that from now on, staff will use their government-issued devices to conduct their work.